Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. On this episode, my control pack, Coyote uh, Gen 3 control pack showed up from Ford. So we're gonna kind of unpack it. I'm gonna kind of lay the computer out where I think I want it to go. So follow along and uh, hopefully you get something out of it. We kind of figure out together. I'd love to hear some comments on where you think I'm gonna put this control pack. So uh, let's see how this goes. So in the box, we've got transmission harness, which I thought I got this for a manual transmission, but maybe this, I don't know. I'll figure that one out. And then I got this whole spaghetti wire of freaking mess. Yeah, look at that. Holy Moses. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Uh, so we got our power distribution module there. I know in here is the air box. As I said, we got the air box here. We got our radiator hoses, which that's nice. I don't know if that came in the control box last time. What is in this little bag? Oh, our oxygen sensors, which those look like they're gonna be way too short, but I'm sure there's plugs in there for those. So, oh, let's see what else we have in here. Motorcraft switch interrupter. Oh, I'm guessing this is a uh, clutch switch. Huh, so somehow that's gonna have to plug in somehow to the, probably the clutch switch, I'm guessing, but don't quote me on that one yet till we'll, uh, we'll get to that. Um, and then I think the computer, which I've already opened, so I know it's in here. Yep, here's our computer. So my plans, as I'm thinking, I'm gonna mount this computer. Maybe into there somewhere. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see if they have. So that's where I'm thinking. We mount the computer in the passenger side. Let me lay that down. So on the passenger side footwell, um, and then I'll make some sort of false wall right in front of it um, because there's still so much leg room in here. I've stretched out in a friend's and you can't even hit the back firewall. So if I take up three inches, yeah, your leg knees have to be bent just a hair, but who drives their legs sticking straight out? And even if you do, you'll have a nice place to rest your legs because there will be a little false wall there to kind of protect the computer. So uh, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Uh, I also seen a guy who, on the forum, he mounted it up here behind the dash only, which I thought was pretty trick. So the only thing stuck out of the dash were these, which would actually be very easy to do. I mean, it's all, huh. Yeah, trim the dash and bolt this thing in. So, you know, then it kind of comes right through here, plug it in there. So that's a possibility too. So yeah, as I said, there's all sorts of options. That would look somewhat clean, but I don't know if it would look as clean. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's gonna look the cleanest. As I said, I'm more concerned with this, uh, this spaghetti mess of wires. So, but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get into this. I said a lot of them go into our power distribution center, which I think that'll be mounted on the back. But, uh, you know, it'd be nice to actually tuck that up. And maybe, maybe that could be actually up into here with the removal, but then that's gonna be a pain to get to. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, we'll see. We'll figure it out, but uh, I may actually start working on the throttle pedal. That's something fun and easy until the motor shows up It's gonna be tough to work on the uh, Wiring harness for the engine So but uh, you know, hey, we unboxed it. See what we got. I'm excited As I said Ford does a pretty good job with these control units, so now We'll just kind of box this back up for right now and Doesn't look quite right. So, as I said, we'll, uh, you know, because I did that, we could come out of here, you know, somewhere to here, it'd be pretty easy to tie right into the engine. That way, this whole area is free. And then we could put our heater control valve up underneath here 
hopefully you can see that, up underneath here so all the hoses are hidden in and out of there. That way this whole area is clean, that whole area is clean, and I think that would be a clean look. Everything's down below. And then I could also make, when I make an engine cover, I could cover it in more and kind of cover this whole area. So you just get a nice big cover, kind of like what uh, Ken Digga does on Bitchin' Rides. He's got that same theme going, so we'll see. But, uh, you know, stay tuned, we'll figure out what we can do.